Izzy Bird. In today's episode of Splatoon 3, we're getting cracking with the new Crack On Splat Roller. This is the first weapon we're showcasing as part of the Splatoon 3 Fresh Season and includes a Squid Beacon and a Kraken Royale. This is a returning special from Splatoon 1 and looks like so much fun. So let's go check it out. So here is our crack on splat roller added here in the newest season. The fresh season has medium range, medium ink speed and high handling, or at least a little bit higher handling with the squid beacon and the returning crack and royale waiting for us. I cannot wait to try it. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of, of uh, rollers, this is just so interesting because I really want to try that crack on stuff because I never really used it too much in Splatoon 1. I don't think it was really a thing in Splatoon 2 from what I remember. So I'm just really interested to see it here. And before we get too much into the action, I do want to of course showcase in the practice area. Um, so let's head over there right now. And then we will uh, definitely maybe change our gear up here because I think some of our gears maxed out. But as you can see, works pretty normal uh, as a roller. Goes on pretty far, has some good effects there, but it fills up quite quick. If we can just uh, go like that, we can activate our crack on and it's huge. We just roll around like this. We can hold and charge ahead like that and just take out enemies all over the place. Super cool, and then we can also, of course, throw um, one of these beacons, and then what we do is we can just jump over to it, which I don't think we can do too much here in this little lobby area, but we could usually jump to that and opposed to like a normal enemy, or teammate. So yeah, with that being said, we're gonna do some turf war to start things off and then move over to anarchy battle. So let's do turf war, undertow spillway, and museum D. Alfonsia. Okay, so our first run will be here in the museum. I'm ready to take it on. I forgot to change my gear, but we can do that next round. Of course, this is turf war. It is all about covering stuff up on the map. Hopefully we'll run into one of the uh, newer maps in today's episode. We checked one out a few a few episodes ago um, with the like the new sort of desert themed one. But we also had a uh, returning Splatoon 2 map. It was, oh yeah, that's right. Let's set this up here and try to be careful. But I know that somebody is right over there. Oh no. Ah, uh, they also have it. <laughs> That's so funny. We're both trying to take each other out with the same weapon. Can I get you though? Almost. Nah, not quite gonna be able to land the shot. And I would have gotten the crack in there. Whoa, but you can see a crack in like an Octoling version. That is so cool. Hey, they're rolling around with that. That's a really cool idea. I like that a lot. Let's cover this stuff up and then maybe I can jump over to my own thing. And I've been playing, of course, the new big run. So I've been a little distracted with that, so I might be a little rusty here. I cannot believe I'm not getting you. There we go. Took a bit of work, but now I can roll it up here, refill an ink a bit. Just a little bit more is needed. Just a little bit more, and then, oh, come on, they got me with that. I didn't even realize it was so close. Once again, I was right there to get the crack on, and they knocked me out. A little frustrating, but it looks like we have some stuff to fill up over there, so let's try to worry about that for a little bit. I know that they're right around the corner here. Okay, that, really? They got me with that? This is not going well so far. Uh, we'll just have to try to find a way around a little bit. Art Academy can be a little bit of a challenge. Or no, this is uh, Museum de Alfonsia. You know what I mean. But, uh, okay, you don't seem to see me, right? Yeah, I got you! Okay, that's great. Fill this stuff up as much as we can then. Sounds like somebody's giving out tricks. I'd like to sneak this even just right there. I feel like it would be pretty nice. And I know they're right behind me, so I gotta be careful, but I really just need to be careful here. Cover up some of this stuff. Oh no, they're above me. I gotta be really careful. Don't get me, don't get me. Oh, gotcha. Okay, crack in time. No! Every single time! I just wanna use the special. You gotta be kidding me. All right. We're getting back out there then as soon as possible. I could have jumped over to my thing, but I'm not gonna do that, I guess, for right now. Ugh. I cannot finish this round without trying to crack on at least once. So we're going over here, I'm filling this stuff up. Luckily this has some nice turf coverage with its little, oh no, oh no. Oh no, missed you there too, ah. Oh. Where's my teammates? I don't know, I guess they're getting spotted at other spots in the map. This is feeling a little rough so far, to say the least. And there's that one, they get their crack on. Okay, it doesn't seem like they see me over here, so I'm just going to try to sneak up on them. 
It didn't work out. Okay, there it goes. And of course, they always have their teammate right by them. The bell, the mats, no crack on for me for this one. It eludes me. Will we still be able to get the win though with a lot of back and forth going out here? I might be able to get like one little bit of ink cover there at the last moment. Oh, rough first round. Things were not going my way, but it's okay. We still got a good couple of splats. I got a little bit more used to this weapon. So win or lose, we'll be coming out even stronger next round. So here's hoping we get a win that time and can I actually use this special. But you know, in the meantime, we should still be able to get some extra points. So maybe I should eat a food ticket or whatever. Not eat the ticket, but use the ticket to get something to eat. We'll have to wait and see what's going on. Cause I might still have more of my ticket as it is. Uh, no, okay, we definitely need another one, right? No, no, we have five more rounds with this one. So, how about this gear? Oh, this gear's looking fine. All right, I thought that for whatever reason I had some stuff that was maxed out. So, we'll head back into it and hope for a better round this next time. All right, round two, we're on Undertow Spillway this time. A map I'm a little bit more familiar with, so I think that if we could just cover up the home base a little bit, we have a lot more safety to do this this time, I think. So, that's good. I think we'll be able to get the crack on just about here in a moment. Cover up what we can. I still wanna be fast about it and not risk too much uh, because that's gonna happen. Oh no, please don't get me, please don't get me, please. Okay, now, now, maybe you can try to get me. Let's see what happens, huh? Here I come. Oh man. Oh, I see you over here, but can I get you? Ah, oh, I was on top of you, but it wasn't enough. That was still really cool. Okay, I saw you over there. Uh, no, 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 we gotta run, we gotta run. <laughs> this is too much. I'll put down one of these. Not the best spot for it. I definitely need to get out there and put it somewhere sneakier, but come on, got you a little bit. Can I get you again? Autobomb's sneaking up behind me. I'm not gonna let you do that. Instead, oh, what is that? Oh, that's new. Oh, this is the thing that sends out all the fake things. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'll put it right here. And then I see you over here. You're gonna try to get me, but instead I get you. And then I'm going to get up this way maybe. Oh, cause we can jump. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, what's he gonna do about it? Uh, not much, you didn't have to do much at all. It's really hard to aim up and actually get splats on people, but it's also just a lot of fun to jump around like a crazy person with it. We're doing pretty good so far. And I can jump back over to this thing that I set up myself. So that makes me feel good. Oh no, they were waiting. So maybe not the best idea. It doesn't send you exactly. It seems like it's a little bit just within that radius, if that makes sense. Yo, let's cover this stuff up. Ooh. Seen a lot of rollers so far today. Oh, there's more of these things and they're all gonna explode. That thing is so cool. I like it. I'm trying to get over there, but they have us pretty stuck at the moment. I think I need to get up here, at least cover this stuff up. And you know what? Let's put it here. That way it's just a little bit of a something to get out to. And then no, you don't. I got one of them. If we can just clear them out a little bit and get pushing back out there because we were doing super well and they've just swung back at us so hard, so. Really tough to do much about that. Gonna go over here. Got it. I don't know if they see me coming over. Don't think they really mind either way because, geez, they're so fast. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Geez, I don't know. I'm trying so hard to stay on top of players. Rollers is not my play style though, so it's really tough. They are going crazy just about everywhere. Come on, how did that not get you? See, that's so baloney, I don't know. <laughs> Try to get you a little bit. They move so fast that when they see me swing, they can simply just move out of the swing range. I know obviously that takes some fast reactions, but it's gonna be a wipeout for our team. This one, not feeling so good. I might be able to get one more splat here. So that's good. Uh, maybe another splat, it was close but another rough run. But hey, at least this time we got to try the crack on, so I'll take that as a, a small victory. But I think we're gonna have to change our strategy up here if we wanna win a turf war. I'll go for one more shot with turf war here before we maybe switch over to anarchy battle and see if there's any game modes that might fit this weapon a bit better. All right, so we're back to the uh, museum here. I wanna fill up this base area as much as possible. Looks like it's blue versus red this time. Oh boy. So I know that was somebody on their team getting spotted. I thought that was our team. I was like, oh, not good. Let's just try to stay up here for a moment, refill my ink before we get this crack on splat roller. Having it available to take on their team whenever they do show up. Oh no, here comes the missiles though. Gotta be careful, let's run over. I'm out of ink. So I can just 
Develop some more stuff over here, because it looks like so far, I don't know where they are. Very odd. Hmm. I don't know where they are at the moment. Is our team just holding them in the base really well? Because I haven't seen a single enemy yet. <laughs> and they're in danger right now, so this is certainly a bit odd. I guess we'll get a little bit closer, but as we're trying to do this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the crack on splat roller? Is somebody just standing up there? Are they, yeah, they just connect. Okay, this game's not gonna count then, I don't think. But <laughs> I guess we'll see in a moment. Um, gotcha. Maybe it's been too late though. Maybe the game will count. Huh, yeah, I'll put this here. But this is gonna be a really one-sided round. But yeah, as we're going through this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the crack on splat roller? Is this a weapon you've been able to try yet? And if so, what are your thoughts on the roller? And of course, the crack on ability making its way into Splatoon 3. It looks like this game's gonna continue. Which sort of sings like it's nice that we're getting a win, but in this condition, I don't know. It looks like there's a lot back at home that we could fill up though, so I wanna work on that. Just in case, I don't know, something happens and they try to make a major comeback here. I think they're probably just chilling out in the base though. But I think this is a good sign that shows, you know what, maybe we should just give Turf War a break. We, we should try Anarchy Battle. I would love to try, I think, tower control with this. The idea of going on the tower, activating the crack on and just going crazy, sounds like a lot of fun. So that's what I'll be trying to do, but I don't know if tower control is even available right now. So we'll have to wait and see, but in the meantime, they're coming out here. Where'd you go, where'd you go? Okay, here you are, here you are. Okay, almost got gotcha. you, And then, got gotcha you there. Awesome, I'm so sorry to have to wipe them out and be so serious with them, but I want at least one win. At least one win in turf war. So I'm doing everything I can, but it's just a lot of it, you know, the turf's already covered. There's not really too much more to do here. Almost didn't make that jump though. <laughs> Got it. And I guess we could try to cover up some of the stuff up there, but yeah, this game's just about over. Not too much more they can do. Most of them are just chilling out because of that. Sorry about this one, obviously not too much I can do about it, but it is definitely a bit lame that we couldn't get a game out of it. But it's okay, we'll move over to some kind of ranked game mode, which will be great, because I want to start climbing my rank, seeing how it's a whole new season. We got A minus last time. Could we defeat that this season? Maybe get an A or an A plus, that'd be so cool. But there we go, at least we got technically a win, not a very good one. I don't know if we would have won this if they actually had a full team. Hard to really say, but, it's at least extra points for us, so I'll take that. And let's see for ourselves. So we bounce out of here, we'll check out what is available in terms of maps and modes for Anarchy Battle. And I think the maps and modes might have actually just updated too, so it'll be a real big surprise. We get level four for our catalog, yes it did. Then let's see what we got. And back out there, just like this. And we are going to either do Tower Control or Rainmaker. So let's try Tower Control either in Mincemeat Metalworks or Hammerhead Bridge. We have to score a lot of points here. We put 70 points in. Can we gain more than that by the end of it? I don't know if we'll play all five rounds in today's episode, but I'll certainly give it a shot. Okay, so here we are on Tower Control. I think we're on uh, Mincemeat Metalworks, so. Let's give it a go. So if we can get the crack on and then get onto the tower, what could they really do about it? You know, that's my concept. That's what I think would be really cool here. So I'm getting out there as soon as we can, but I'm sure yeah, we're not the only one. There's an opponent with the same deal. So let's get out here. I also want to just really quickly fill this up, put this here. That's gonna be really helpful for our team, but I'm sure they're gonna have the same thing going on. Okay, you know what? Let's go over here. Try to get you a little bit. Didn't quite land. But that's all right, because I do this, I get up here, I, I go like this, and we just go crazy on them. And I fell, uh, it didn't work. <laughs> my, my strategy's falling apart here. Can I get up the wall? Oh, I can! Whoa, look at us, that was cool. Okay, I got them a little bit, not enough to take them out, they aren't happy about it, so they're tossing stuff at me. And it looks like some of the other weapons here also have the crack on. Gonna put this one here now, that might be a bad idea in hindsight, but we're still, our teammates plan them like crazy, they're doing an amazing job. If we can keep this turf covered as we're past the checkpoint, I'm going the wrong way then. Um, but if I can get them distracted over here, that means that they're not getting stepped in over that way. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, come on. I'm getting up here. I'm trying to cause problems for everybody. I don't know where they are. There we go, a wipeout. What do we even do about that? That is crazy. I think this thing might need a little bit of balancing if everybody has a crack on because that is such a quick win. 
Oh man, that was wild. So there we go, a actual win with the crack on splat roller this time. I think we used the weapon the way we were supposed to. So there we go, we do get number one spot as sister, but no other medals, so that's a little concerning. Just because uh, we need more medals to gain more points. But honestly, 70 points isn't too high of a task. I think we'll get that back if we're winning a couple rounds no matter what. So yeah, there's our first round of tower control. Let's go for some more. Hammerhead Ridge is our next one. So we finally get to try. It's technically a new map. It's, it's new to Splatoon 3. So that's pretty cool. Let's get into this. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we do need to, of course, focus on just covering up some turf too. It seems faster to do this than it is to actually roll around with it. There's a lot going on. I'm gonna put one of these down. But it definitely just feels and seems like, oh man. Uh, okay, one more, there we go. And I'm jumping up here and I'm gonna give you a big problem. And I see you over here, sir, getting you. This is so powerful. It is crazy, we just get a wipeout, so now we can just chill out on here. They just didn't even know how to respond to any of that. And then we're at checkpoint one. This is a great spot to um, take the lead, get back up here. They got some players over there. We're able to get the splat from it. They got a big roller and they're trying to get me with it. So I think I need to reposition. But if I could just get over here, cover up some turf, that'd be great because now I can get back over there. Oh, help you out the booyah bomb. And as soon as things are, oh, that was a great Booyah Bomb, actually. As soon as things are getting a bit scary, I could even, oh no. Here, you know what, this might be a good, good time to. Let's get out like this and at least push them back, right? I might not be able to splat them all the way, but I can at least lower their health a little. Get into some trouble back this way, like that. Excellent, and we're about to win. This is crazy. So just with the right placement and good team coordination, the crack on, even if it doesn't splat them, can push them back and relocate them in a way that is just so hard to win against. I think this is probably something that might get changed at some point, I really do think so. But for right now, we're also at a lower rank than we're used to playing. I mean, the last good while we've been playing at an A rank, which you know isn't super crazy higher than B rank, but it's still a jump up, so that might also be contributing to it a little bit, but we got two more gold medals there. Three more to go if we want to finish this quick. We do also get some level ups to our gear here. Glad to see it. So we just need one lot more level up with each of them. And we're good to go there. We have one more round with this uh, food ticket. All right, another round of tower control. Can we get a third win? We're about to find out. I probably could have put that out farther. In hindsight, what if we just snuck it somewhere like there? Because that's sort of the big thing is that we could, oh no, oh no. Uh, can I get them one more time? Not quite, but we took the tower, so while they're focused on all that, maybe I could sneak up on them and get a couple of splats over this way. You don't see me, right? Oh no, you see me, but I'm still able to splat them. Getting up here, they're chasing me. Ah, oh, they caught me. That's all right, we got one person. We pushed the tower a couple of points. It looks like they're trying to return the favor. Now they're at checkpoint one. We lost the lead. It's all right. Um, How do we want to do this? I guess I could. Oh, no, they got me good with that. It didn't even look like they were facing me. That was a little weird. Maybe I just saw it wrong. But we're gonna try to get over here. Their checkpoint two. Looks like the tables have really turned here. I might just might just have to, you know, go over some spots and try to just earn up the crack on you know spotter thing, but I just I can't I can't get over to them. This time they definitely have a lot more range on their side with that blaster, with the squiffer. And now I think that's holding me back a lot. I took the tower back again. But if we could just maybe set that up, jump over. There's no way they're taking it there. I can't quite get you though, unfortunately. And then the ink strike, man, they got everything thrown at us right now. They're really super all coordinated right now. And this is just, I need to fill up my stuff. Oh yeah, help out with the booyah bomb. But we don't have too much time here. Okay, I see you over here, so we can splat you, no problem. Got some of that. I think I need to reposition myself a little bit because if we could just get ourselves out here, throw out some stuff, and then ready, set, Get up here, crack on spot roller, whatever it's called. I mean, it's just a crack on, but. Okay, Um, and I don't know if I'll be able to do too much with it, but it's something. Okay, I got my colors mixed up somehow. I'm able to trade splats with them, so that's good. I didn't do the best with it, but it kept them at bay for just an extra moment that we can get our tower pushed. That could be a game changer by the end of it. You never know. We're past checkpoint one, and oh my goodness, all this stuff is coming in. 
It's crazy because it's like the missiles, but even wilder, and I just put myself immediately in the worst position, so that's not good. We need to actually jump over to this stuff and put it somewhere even more productive. So I'll jump to this. Let's get out here. And then I almost got you. Oh, now the bubble's coming up though. So put it like there maybe? Ah, I jumped too high. Darn, that would've been so good if I could've just gotten on the tower there because they definitely didn't see me coming. But the jump up was just too high and they caught me with that. So that's sort of the issue there. Ah, and I landed in the tiniest little drip of their ink which got me caught up enough so that they returned the favor and got me again. Jeez. We're at checkpoint three. I see you over here, and I still can't quite reach you. Got you there. We're taking the tower. I don't think there's anybody over there now. I just gotta be careful, because their aim is insane. I can't take them on like that. I need to find some other way around. Ooh. The Booyah Bomb is always good to see, though. They took the tower again. They are really being tough with this, but if we can hold out, find a way to get this in overtime. That'd be great. I'm gonna try to jump over here, but they're not having it. It's just so crazy, and this is where just, not just a weakness with this weapon, but the weakness with rollers in general, they can just outrange me. <laughs> There's not too much I can do with it, unless I'm super good at aiming these jump shots, but even those have their weaknesses. All right, I'll put this down, but then I need to refill my ink a bunch. Okay, um, what do I wanna do here? We took the tower. I know that they're waiting to take it back again, but I can maybe spy you. Awesome. And I almost have it here. So, right about here, I'm gonna go for you. I always forget that it doesn't work that way. Oh man. Maybe I can get up here. There's really not much I could have done in this situation, I guess. I didn't really use it at a good time. Shouldn't have put that down, I don't think. I gotta get up there. One way or another, I need to get up there now. And then I'm gonna try to get you? Come on. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, I did get them. I did get them. But somebody got me. That's such a shame. They're down to 17 points, but with 30 seconds remaining, could we push this? We took the tower. It's doable. It's possible. I see you over here. I don't know if you know I'm here. Get me out of here. Come on. No, you don't. Yes, you will. No, you won't. Okay. Got you too. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. What if I set one of these up on top of the tower? Oh, I can do that. Nice. Okay, we need to hold this then. With everything that we have, I need to activate this and just jump around like a crazy person. Um, oh no, I'm off of it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, get back up. Oh, come on, 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 no! Ah, oh, that stinks. So two wins and a loss. I can't complain about that too much, but man, is it rough. Jeez, it was just one of those things where they were able to zone us out super badly because that's what their weapons do. Couldn't get the win that time, but I feel like we held our own more towards the end. I got a good stride there a little bit, but we'll try to bounce back a little bit in the next round. All right, so here we go. Let's try for another win here. We're at two wins and a loss. So if we could get either, was it three more wins or two more losses is gonna end this. Let's just see what we can do. Doesn't look like too many of them are over here just yet. Oh no, uh, well that was a little awkward, but I was able to get the splat. I'm in trouble now though, they took the tower. That's pretty crazy that they took the tower. It must have just been one player, because I spotted one of them. The other two were focused on me, but they lost the tower. So yeah, they didn't have it for very long. Let's get back out there. And if I could, oh, I see you over here. And I don't think they see me, so I can try to sneak up on them. That's not really working, but I got the splat on them, and oh, I got another one too. So we're at least getting some splat tracked up. I don't know if it's really gonna help us too much with anything else, if our teammates aren't there to take the tower, but it's okay. We will get over here a bit. Oh no, you don't! Oh, come on, that was just very unfortunate. I didn't even see them coming until I was in the middle of the air, could not react fast enough. Don't have the crack on yet. I wanna just sink to somewhere, somewhere over here. I think they know I'm here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think they did. They call me there. Come on, can I get you? I can. That's a pretty big deal. They're here too, but we traded the splats, so that's something, but the rest of our team's still getting wiped out by somebody else. Oh, I feel like I'm actually getting some decent work done just with rolling around and splatting people, but it's not enough. We need our team to be a little bit more synchronized. I'll put this here. And then they don't see me, so I'm able to get an easy splat. And then right here, come on. Please, I think I got another person. Yeah, so it's something. 
but the rest of them are working together really well with this. They lost the tower, but then they took it back. And we haven't even brought ours anywhere, so not looking so good yet. I really just want the crack on at the moment. I just don't know if we'll get that in time, but I do see you over here. What? Okay, in, I'm so confused. It said they were gonna land there and they never landed there. Did I just miss that entirely? I don't know. Is it the blink and I missed it scenario? Something like that, right? Okay, I see you over there. Oh, now you got it. I gotta run, I can't. <laughs> this is not going the way I want it to. Maybe I should just stay up here for a moment because it only takes a few moments to earn this up. I say that, it really does take a while. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, and they're already trying to cash me out, but I have it. It's here, please don't get splatted. And then we gotta go. Okay, I'm going in, I'm getting up here. You are not getting this tower any farther. Can I get another one? Or will you just go crazy on me? But we got you, okay, team wipeout. Let's go, go, go. That really helped. Now just because we've done all that doesn't mean you know everything's done, so. We still have to fight every inch of this. Oh, I see you, what do you think you're doing? Apparently not getting splatted, what just happened? I don't know. And nobody, nobody notices. Sometimes I feel that happens, I've done that before too, where you know a teammate will have the tower and then everybody else gets a little too far ahead of themselves, thinking they'll be fine, and then just, you know, that one person just gets splatted and there's nobody else there to take the tower back. Ah, oh, man. They're definitely outplaying me with the crack on spot, or obviously it's not my weapon type, it's not really what I choose to play most of the time, so I'm not too surprised by that, but come on, I can get you here, right? I can. Here's my chance to maybe bounce back a little then. And then, okay, this person doesn't see me, but I don't think they really care to. Gotcha. I see you over there, and I can't get you. I mean, they have the height advantage here, so it's not too much of a surprise. Really back and forth between me and them. All right. No, you don't. Okay, maybe you will. No, you won't. You took the tower. What do we gotta do to keep it that way, though? First, put one of those down. I know they're about to be back up. Are they behind me? They're not behind me? Okay, now we have a problem, though. Um, if I can just get down here, I can maybe, you know, at least chase you guys. No, you don't. Oh my goodness, I'm not very good at this weapon. Oh, come on, I got one of them. Jeez, they are jumping over to my thing, though, so that's always nice. But with 15 seconds remaining, we still haven't even pushed it, really, like at all. It's not enough to just, okay. Ooh, gonna try to hide behind the post. That worked, but I need more. Come on, got another splat there. I'm falling off when I really don't need to, though. I see you down there. I need to hide. No, wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, <laughs> Why did I fall off? I don't understand, it's overtime still, but just, ah. Uh. I'm trying to dodge stuff and hit people and also not fall off at the same time and my character sort of slips up. I feel like the gravity can be weird on top of the tower. I usually don't spend too much time actually riding it. I prefer to be around it and just help out that way, but rough game. But with that being said, I put in a lot of effort there for sure. I think we get a lot of splats by the end of it. Let's see for ourselves. How many splats did we get in total? 18, three gold medals, overall splatter, pop your target, and another one. So I'm not gonna be too beat up by that. At least we got something. This should already be enough for us to get more than 70 points that we put into it. So at least we have that to look forward to. But let's go for one more round here and see if we can get a win. All right, we're back to um, whichever this one is. Hammerhead Bridge, yep. We're gonna try to get out here as soon as we can and get to that tower. But maybe while I'm over here, before we get too crazy, I took the tower, I'm gonna set up one of these here, because oh, that'd be pretty sneaky. Let them take it right away, and then we'll take it right back, right? Oh, I see you over here. If you hop down, I'm gonna get you. I think they're ready for that. Okay, somebody got them. Okay, here's our chance. We got the big crack on, we're getting up here. I'm gonna go crazy on this thing, just like this, and start riding this tower around. Even if they try to get me like that, it doesn't defeat me. Okay, now I'm, I'm all finished with it, though. Come on, I got them there. We took the tower. 
Um, I cannot move. I cannot move. There we go. There we go. I see you guys over here. I splat two of them. Can I get three? I can get three. There we go. Come on, team. We gotta move. No, no, no. Out here. There we go. We took the tower. That was gigantic. All right, get another one. And guess what I have now? The crack on spout, splat roller again. So I'm getting out this way. I'm charging into you. I see these two over this way. So I'm gonna try to splat you. Here I come. And if I can't get you, I can at least scare you off, right? Oh, hey, there they are. What is going on this round? This is wild. Come on, come on. I want to put it right there. I'm getting slowed down by the gunk, the goo. I don't know what it, the miss, whatever you might want to call it. Oh no, I'm in trouble. That one was totally my fault. I shouldn't have gone for it, but they took the tower. We pushed it pretty far. What a round. I think we got a little far out of ourselves. Made ourselves a bit vulnerable, but that shows that we can get right back out there, no problem. Some of my teammates are still jumping over to my thing, I think. So that's good. I might want to put another one out somewhere. Even if I just sneak it like right over here. But it seems like they notice that. Okay, I could get one. So that's nice. And what do we want to do? I might just jump right back over to it. Use that super jump spot to our advantage and get you really quickly. I don't know what's clicking so well right now, but I'm so happy for it. Oh no. Um, I would like to back up then, or at least cover some of this stuff up. Get back over here and then crack on time. You guys are in so much trouble. There's one, there's two. I don't know where the third one is. You're right over this way. I didn't quite get you, I missed you. That's all right. Oh, I see you up here. And then I'm trying to get up on top. Oh my goodness, so awkward. I'm just trying to get on top, on top of the tower. I'm getting stick, stuck in the little drips of ink. All right, uh, how do we want to handle this? I think if I could put this here, get up on top of this stuff. They don't see me quite yet. Oh no, they saw me. <laughs> they, they definitely saw me. I thought I could sneak up on them. They don't know about my jump spot though, right? The problem is it's sort of like random exactly where it lands, but I will try to just slam them. Okay. Uh, We gotta go. See, when we're all coming up behind them, it sort of does lose some of the element of surprise. I just gotta get up on top. Okay, they're gonna be coming in right here. Okay, somebody got them, that's good. Let's get back out there with this so that I can maybe, just maybe, get the crack on. And I'm just waiting it out for now, but I can get you a little bit. That was so good. That might be, I, I'm, I'm doing better with the roller here in some ways than I think I've ever done with a roller before. It's actually exciting. And then I will try to get this person a little bit. Whoa, they're just right on top of that tower. Come on, everybody. Don't let them get it. They're really trying to get over. And I wanted to get this, oh no, a little bit farther. I jumped at the worst time there. And now I'm too slow to get up here. That's one of my least favorite. That's like a new thing now. Okay, they took the tower, so we just pop up on top and just do that. And then if they try to do that, okay, I did, but I missed that first one. Really needed to land that one. We lost the tower, but with only 20-ish, 25 seconds remaining, we are in the lead, not by the hugest ton. I need to put out one of my things again. They took the tower. I need to be careful. But at the least, I can put that there, get back out there as soon as possible. Because if we can just hold them back, it'd be a big deal. I just don't know where they are at the moment. Right now the tower is just resetting and we took the tower, good, and that's game. All right, so we did get another win. I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up regardless just because I, uh, running out of time here, maybe one more round. One more round is what I can afford, so let's keep going with that. But man, pretty crazy stuff, right? We get number one overall splatter, enemy base splatter, ground traveler, Loftus seek. My voice is feeling pretty tired right now, so we might have to save it for the next episode, but I don't know if these will carry over at some point. I don't really know how this happens if we leave it for a bit. These, you know, games, but we got 16 splats, so we did really good. I'm happy with it. The crack on splat roller is difficult to master, but 
I think there's definitely some huge benefits. We got the Sheldon license. So yeah, you know what? I'll pause the series there. We'll come back to it some other time, but we can spend some of our cash right over this way. I've cleared out a lot of the shops in the last two episodes, so I don't think there's really too much waiting for us. But in here, we have some decorations, like a nice cereal box and a little, um, Bucket, so that's awesome. And we'll talk to Jed over here. Let's see what Jed has to say. Swimming around fast in ink will make little ripples that your opponents can see. Tilt left gently to swim slowly, sneak up on opponents without splashing. There is a way to swim fast and not splash, though. Wear gear with the ninja squid ability. You can never be too sneaky. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I have to get some of that. Oh, here we go. Sneak up without making a splash to break the targets. Gently tilt L without, sw without splashing. Okay, that's good. I didn't really know it was that, that sneaky. Pretty cool. Well, that's a good one to learn. I'll have to utilize that soon. But yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts on the crack on Sprout Splat Roller, and stay tuned as we'll showcase more of the fresh season weapons super duper soon. With that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.